I wonder if we went to the cop shop and said we have an emergency swarm call out, whether the cops would give me a siren and a flashing light. I got so excited I forgot to shut my tarp, so just hold on a minute, we'll have to stop before we get there. Otherwise we'll have all sorts of flapping. Do not ask, go. do not collect $200. Well, we've got some bees in a barrel. <laughs> so, emergency, emergency, these lovely people have come home from holidays or a weekend away, I think. And they've found a swarm of bees in their, in a wine barrel in their backyard, which is obviously their outdoor sort of part of entertaining area. <laughs> so that's not real convenient. So anyway, it's Bush Bee Man to the rescue. So just as well we had our siren on, we're here on time. This is when you do get a call out. If you ask the question, sometimes you can decide whether or not they're gonna be going. I reckon they've settled into where they are now so they probably wouldn't swarm away whereas sometimes you get a swarm call and if you don't get there within the I don't know 10 minutes or half an hour of the swarm call they can the swarm can bugger off again. These ladies have made themselves a home in the most inconvenient spot. Long term I don't think they're going to be very popular if they stayed where they are so. Cool let's go and see if we can't get them to cooperate a bit. Cool. Okie dokie doke, we're just going to make ourselves a bit of room here. Well, obviously the ladies had the door shut before, <laughs> before the folks got home from holidays. So they thought this is a wonderful place to make a home. But of course as you can see they're in the, in the poor people's entertainment area so it's not ideal. Anyway, hence that's why we're here to have them rescued. I thought I might try something different today since, well show you something different today. Since we can't actually drop these ladies straight into the box, we're going to clean things up and drop them on a sheet. And who knows, we might even catch the Queen and save a whole lot of excitement, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can find her and pop her in the box and watch all the ladies make a home and then we'll come back tonight and pick it up and ding, another bee box. Okay, so we'll just clean up some of the kids' toys and stuff out of the way. If my poor old body can get down here. Look at that, the girls could paint their own mural. I wonder how they'd get on, stick their little it's kind of cute, they're little paint pots with little lids on it. Very awesome. God, it's been a long time since I've had little kids to entertain. <laughs> hey chicks, what are you doing? I'm thinking this is the kids' cupboard you've invaded. <laughs> you little darlings. You can see all the little bits of extra wax flakes that they've left behind as it's fallen off. I reckon I'm going to put the sheet inside the actual box, barrel, or whatever I call this. Get the girls on the sheet and pull the sheet out and then hopefully catch the queen and pop her in the box. But you know, we can make the best laid plans, but you know, not always goes to that way, but I think that's the way forward in this particular moment. So let's get the header out of the way. We'll just get our John Deere header out of the way here. Where's the rest of it? Look at that. How was that for a guess? It was a John Deere. Look at that. <laughs> we could harvest some bees. Might be slightly different. So we'll just put this inside the barrel. We'll knock the bees off onto the sheet which is actually, they've got quite a lot of honeycomb in here. Hopefully there's no honey in the comb. Anyway, we're gonna knock them onto the sheet, pull the sheet out, hopefully catch the queen, put the queen in the box, and then um, all the girls will follow her. I don't know what else to do with it, because otherwise, well, I suppose the other option is we could actually roll the barrel over and bash them on the ground and see what happens, but I think this will work, so. Every call out's different, so you just gotta make it up as you go along. But this is what I'm gonna have a try anyway, see whether this works. <laughs> You reckon? You reckon that will work? Pull it up over the back of them. They are definitely going to go everywhere when we do this, though. Right, ladies. You don't know how lucky we are that we're here to rescue you. Here comes some chaos. What do I do with that smoker? <laughs> right, so they've been here a little while because they've made themselves a nice honeycomb. We're going to have to try and get the honeycomb off as well. Oh, golly chicks, what have you done? <laughs> I don't think they've got much honey up here, so we should be all right. Okay, now we got them all sitting in the sheet. So we'll pull the sheet out, if we're lucky. <laughs> Come on chicks, you can do it. Where are we gonna go? Shall we go on the lawn a little bit? Get out in the sun so we can see what we're doing. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you're not happy with me. That's fair enough. I don't think they're very happy to see me. Right, now, <laughs> let's see if we can't find someone important. Here we go. This is gonna be chaos now. Oops, that's very upset. We'll see if we can't find the queen in amongst all this excitement. Hopefully she's in here somewhere. She should be in this lot. We'll try and get it out of the way. Hopefully she can't fly too well at this stage because she's been in here for a while. Here, where would you be, young lady? Oh, where, oh, where would you be? You could be anywhere. Just seeing if we can't see where she might be. There's a bit of honey on some of this honeycomb. Ow, 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 that's a bad idea. <laughs> Don't sting me too much, girls. I'm actually trying to help you, even though it doesn't feel like it right now. I don't think they're happy to see us. Well, I can't see her in here yet, so I don't know. This might be a fatal mistake, but they're running in the box anyway, so I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Maybe she's decided to go in there herself. Good. I thought I'd hand this to you before oh, okay. they decided to raid it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you can show the youngsters how they build it. Well, there you go. You never know what's going to happen, do you? When we brought the little bloody bundle of bees out out of the keg, she must have run straight into the box and said, "Hello, here looks like a lovely home." Because all the girls have orientated there beautifully. So we're just going to put the bees back up on top of this barrel over here where they where the field bees are orientated to. And then by the time we come back tonight, hopefully all the ladies will be sorted themselves out. We'll pick them up put them in the yard and away we go. So, whew, that was pretty successful, I think. I'll see if I can get myself stung when I move them. So we'll just slip the lid forward to keep the ladies in there nice and toasty. Keep them all cozy, won't we girls? Are we ready? Here we go. Pop them up here and see what happens. <laughs> And they're going, hello, here's our new home. Thank you, Mr. Bush Bee Man. Hopefully that's what they're thinking. <laughs> do you think that's what they're thinking? Do you think that's what they're thinking? Thank you, Mr. Bush Bee Man. I don't know. And I just want to poke that bit of plastic in there so that it doesn't flap too much. Ow, don't sting me. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. Let's do this instead. We'll stick a few things up, clean up against it. <laughs> Ow. Now they've decided they want to protect themselves. <laughs> Golly gosh, chicks. Well, I reckon we'll let the little lady settle down after that excitement. We'll come back tonight and take them to their new home. And in the morning, they'll wake up and they'll say, wow, look at that. There's a couple hundred acres of citrus trees to nibble on. They should be all very impressed. Well, apparently the ladies have settled down. So we're going to get a bit of wet paper and stuff in their doorway. And we're going to put a bit of a strap on them and hook them out the way so these lovely people can get on with their lives. And we can have the bees in a nice safe place for them and a bit productive for us eventually. A win for the bees and a win for the beekeeper. Hopefully, but we'll find out if we get stung to death in a minute. If this is the last episode you ever see and there's not actually an ending to this episode, you know I died, all right? So just hold that in the mind. <laughs> Hello, chicks. What's going on? You're not sure what the heck happened? You were happy in a barrel. Now you're in a box. All right. Let's put this strap on. That sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? Put a strap on. That way. That way. <laughs> oh, there's a nice hum going on in there. Well, hopefully they'll be happy and you'll be happy and everybody will be good. That'd be right. The stupid thing's twisted, John. Otherwise it's going to hang over the edge and then we're going to knock that thing open. We'll knock the end off it off and we'll get to where we're headed and the lid will be off. There will be in all sorts of strife. That all looks pretty good. I don't think there's a hole in the bucket, so that's good. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank 
<laughs> we will. Or... No, this barrel should be all good. Oh, do I need to put a hat on? Help, light on my head. Oh, chubby chicky babes. Right, come on, girls. Let's go to your new home. So we're just going to pull our paper out and run. <laughs> Are we ready? Escapees! And nobody came out. One little guard bee came out and went, Hey! <laughs> well, I think those barrel bees were quite good. We'll have to get the wife out here to put a tag on them so we know which one is the wine barrel bees. Because now I've got one, I've got the hobbit bees, I've got wine barrel bees, I've got kindy bees, and our sweat box bees. So if we can get some of these genetics to get a roll on, get the wife organised, she wants to do a bit of queen breeding, you never know. People might put an order in, can we have some hobbit bees or some wine barrel bees? I don't know, that's going to be an interesting thing to have on the order sheet. Can you imagine that? We'd like some kindergarten bees, please. They're nice and friendly. Anyway, that's down the road a little bit. Let's see what happens. Actually, talking about that, we had a had an email from one of the fans saying that he enjoyed watching how we finished the Hobbit Bees off. And so we should take you around and have a bit of a review because I've had a few other people say to me, we should have a review about the boxes that we've caught or saved over the years and how they're getting on. So an episode coming shortly, we're going to do that. So stay tuned and you can see how the kindy Bees are getting on. So don't forget to click like, subscribe if you're enjoying yourself on this bee journey of insanity. And go take me to your neighbours and say, look, this crazy bush bee, man, he's a mad fella. And you might enjoy yourself. So, And if you really are enjoying yourself, be like the rest of the cool people that are supporting us and go down to the Patreon support page and click that button and say, yes, this guy's worth a dollar. <laughs>